in this dream, everybody knew we was Israelites. All the people knew. Because I remember, uh, I don't know if I was riding in the car with my family. First, it seemed like I was a kid, like I was younger. The next, it seemed like I was a grown-up. I think it was me and my dad. It seemed like a, a lady was with us. I don't know. But the knowledge had gone out that we were the Israelites. After that, I remember uh, we was, I don't know if we were standing beside the road or we was in a business and this white family pulled up on us. It was, uh, it was like two guys, a woman and a girl, right? Something like that. I don't know, it was four or five of them. They started acting real weird, you know, real weird. Uh, I don't know if somebody called me on the phone and it was a Bible verse I was listening to and uh, I was in the office something it's just a weird dream you know all I remember mainly is that a white family showed up and they wanted to fight against us and they were trying to make themselves be saved they were trying to make themselves they're trying to make the Lord save them. I think they thought, if they, I don't know if they were to replace us or something, but a big fight broke out. And then they challenged us. To, they basically said, do you want to fight with knives, swords, scissors, something like that. And before they could pull their weapons out, we just started fighting, started beating them up. The main focus is the fact that there was a, a huge fight Everybody knew he was Israelites, and, every, and when the white people, white people started trying to quote verses and do all this different stuff, I mean, they were, they were desperate, you know, they were desperate, and before blood could be shed, because it was, it was going to be the type of thing where people was going to get killed. So I remember knocking this white dude on the ground, and I went and grabbed, I don't know if it was scissors, I went and grabbed something sharp, because he had one in his hand, he had really had like, two things in his hand but he was going to offer one to me to fight against him and before we could get to that I knocked him on the ground and just took one of them out of his hand I was about to stab him but I woke up but the spooky thing was we was by ourselves and we knew we was Israelites and then these white people showed up and they was angry you know but they, they was very creepy they was like I used to be in the old days when you see them movies and they just was acting funny you know they had a look in their face. They almost had no expression, like no emotion. You know, but they was upset because they wasn't not Israelites. And they wanted to fight us. They wanted to kill us. Very weird, you know. I can say to add to it, just repeating, it was this type of thing with this, when this family showed up. It was like we knew among ourselves that we were Israelites. It's like the knowledge had gone out. Everybody just, it was like a common thing. And this family, these white people knew that they thought that if they could kill us, then the Lord would have to save them. He would, they was trying to replace us. And they challenged us to a fight to the death with weapons, you know. And we wasn't really trying to do none of that. We was just, like, enjoying. We were just doing some family stuff. And next thing I know, it seemed like we was in a store. Like, we owned a store or something. And I was in the office listening to, you know, something. Then this family shows up. It's creepy. And you can see in their faces when they came, they didn't have a... They wasn't trying to pretend like they was your regular, you know, like your friendly white people. They had a look on their faces, like a look of desperation. It was almost like when you see somebody that, that they know they're in trouble, they had a look in their faces. It was just like they, like they knew they had no hope. And they thought that their only hope was to kill us. And they challenged us to a fight. And I remember this guy saying, you want to use knives, scissors. He had a, a number of sharp weapons. And instead of waiting for them to do that, I just, you know, we just started fighting. And then, like I said, he dropped a sharp weapon. I went to pick it up. Because you just, you can feel this in the dream. You just feel it like their desperation. And, they, and I remember hearing them trying to quote certain Bible verses and stuff. So.